she got married, but it's rather unfortunate that she's not a part of the family.
the program goes on smoothly and I'll be taken away. But I wasn't taken away fully. Because I have my rights. <laughs> Now the, the elders will come in. Mm -hmm. Elders will come in and they'll, they'll, they'll set the number of cattle they want for their daughter. It will be like 80, 90, 100, 70. So, so which is you don't do <laughs> agreement before you get married. As soon as the girl is in your house, the family will come for their cows. They are coming for their cows. That's why girls bring more cows. <laughs> that is it. But when you come to Ghana, you are being given the less of things to get. So, so the list of things, is it the family that provides it? Yeah, that's my family. They, my they, they provide a list. They provide a list. And the guy needs to get the guy it. Needs to get so it. if you don't bring all the listed stuff to okay. the family, you are not getting married. No, you have to make sure that everything is being brought. You don't need to receive the family members. You have to take everything out. A friend, they used to do it like that. You have to take, it. maybe you were asked to bring six cloths, pieces of you have to take all the sex pieces of clothes. If you're asked to bring um, pomade, you have to take the pomade out to show that, yes, this is what you got. But now, um, I don't know how to put it, but modernization has changed a lot of things when it comes to um, the traditional ceremony. Yes. So they had to pack in everything and it will be presented that, okay, so this is what we said you bring. As soon as the ushers bring the stuff to the family so actually everything happens in my house yeah? yeah so when it comes to the traditional way most of the time it happens in the house for the bride so they brought all the stuff that are required on the list to bring it to the house and when they bring it to the house that is when the groom can actually come in yeah. but this time around when the groom was coming he was dancing together with the family <laughs> Family, it's time for the bride to come in.
so I was I was dancing to meet my my husband. I mean your husband to be to be because I you. wasn't at that at that exactly. moment. Exactly. And then I saw you sharing something. What was that? Um. So I I am supposed to give um a token or maybe. Um, a gift to my my husband to be his family to appreciate their coming. So that was mm. what I, I was doing. Mine was a hanky. You don't need to do anything huge. It's different from the souvenirs, but this is something a token. Like so, it's oh, more like a handkerchief that you were sharing. That I was sharing. Yeah. Oh, okay. And after that, I saw you. They were asking you some few questions. Yeah. So I mean, my my family. When it comes to my, my dad's side or my mom, let me just say my, my family, they were supposed to give me to my husband to be his family to ask me questions. But it looks like when they saw me, when they saw the glow, they couldn't ask me any question. <laughs> <laughs> so what they were like, oh, she's so pretty, she's so fine. Oh. So my my family were like, no, you are from a home, like you were brought up well. So just tell us something about you. And I didn't joke with that. Hey, so um i was so happy that i made my family proud oh, wow. by letting them know the culture or, or letting them know where i am from yeah so i was proud I'm not sure Maya will be able to do that because um, he has been moving all about. He doesn't sit home. He is always in either Kenya. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for bringing me here. <laughs> South Africa, ladies with. So yes, so I think I don't think he'll be able to do that. But when he's ready, are you sure they, not, they didn't teach you what to say? No. You mean you know all no, these? No, I know all these. Wow. Yeah. I, I was shocked though. Huh? You know. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, after that, that is when, which means both families have come to an agreement that they should get married and they present her to the husband, and mm -hmm. that is where everything began. On the list, the groom needs to give the bride's brothers money, which they call it a quintessical. Yeah, I was expecting a huge amount of money because, yo, what am I is a big brand, so you cannot come here with a small envelope. So when I saw the envelope, I felt like this envelope is too flat. So I told my brother, you know what, me, I don't need this money, so go for it. So my senior brother went for it because I think it would be very disrespectful knowing that over one million people because you know any money that I get I need to share with you guys so I need to have one million dollars to give my sister away so far as the money was not one million dollars I'm like no I don't need it because I care about you guys because each and every one of you if I go out there to take that money I need to share with you all and I realized that that money I cannot share with you guys I just want to say a big shout out to Casa Preco. Yeah, they, they did so well. They sponsored my sister's wedding with all the beverages that were used at the wedding. Like, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. They, you know what? I, I just invited the CEO of Casa Prayakon that, hey, my, my sister is getting married. So, Maya, when? I'm like, next week. I said, please, you know what? Can I take all the drinks? And I'm like, what are you saying? He said, yes. And one thing that even surprised me, after them sending all the drinks to the weddings, they also decided to send someone all the way from Accra to my village just to do a cocktail. cocktail. Yeah. Can we all give a round of applause to Casa Preco? You are from Ghana or you 
living in Ghana or wherever you are, I just want to tell you that it's by force to use Casapreco product. They have a mineral water called Awake Mineral Water. The only water that I drink is Awake Mineral Water. So you two get one today. Thank you, Casapreco. also want to give some vendors a shout out okay like the lady who made my engagement outfit actually Duke's fashion line or Duke's wear and hair will be working together to get their engagement and wedding outfit because I, I get a lot of people asking me when I'll be starting that so I'll give a shout out to Silver Boat Apparel um, Silverboat underscore apparel. She did an amazing job because a lot of people weren't expecting me to wear that cover up um, engagement outfit. Mm. Um, most of the outfit that people use are so exposing. And when I came out, people were so happy. They were asked, I think she got a lot of contacts. Mm. Even Trudy. <laughs> My face beats was done by 3D Artistry. Um, you can check them out on Instagram. Oh, wow. They, they are so good. And the local bar, I know this lady would just <laughs> beat me because I didn't get her the, the, the right things that she'll be needing to do the setup because it was a lot of pressure on us. It, it wasn't something that we yeah. planned off. Even it was Maya who got the table for, for her. She, uh, he, he came to my room to ask me where the tables were. I was like, oh, just ask my senior brothers, but then they were so busy. So we couldn't do the setup well, but the, her local juice was so good. She's called Vita something, but I will just check the name and my Are, they, are they all gonna pay me for this shout out? Oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm with the Maya sister, so everything comes out <laughs> free for them. So yeah, so thank you all. And my headgear, she is called um, Bridal Lafay on Instagram. My, um, this thing, what's the name? The Fascinator or Hasinator, she's called Dinelli Style on Instagram. So everything, everything was, was, was Jay, I loved it. Right from there, that is when people came to eat. You know, in Ghana, they don't joke <laughs> with food. So if you're getting married, please, if your family does not have money, just don't marry in your room. No, you can't you know, even marry they, in your room. They, they, they came to eat to because, eat. listen, I, I couldn't to believe eat. the amount of food that was there. Hey, 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 you go Hey, program, sir. Now, fear your buffet. You may be your money. But the worst thing, the your best food to go. Go back. Because the prayer stand, everyone was just going there, going there, and then I saw people <laughs> drunk and they were just moving around and like. And they were dancing all over. Yeah. You know, actually, I just want to tell you something. The best food to get in Ghana. It's at wedding and funerals. Yes. So people go to funerals or go to weddings <laughs> just for food. But I think um, on behalf of my family, I think we did a great job trying to uh, putting everything together so that the people that came there got a good reception. And it was raining, but we're all yeah, in the rain, yeah. especially my two senior brothers. For yeah, me, they were so I, I was also out there, but people came and everybody wanted to take a photo with me. I see if I'm the one getting married. But yeah, I guess because I'm Water Maya and I had to just go to the room, change my clothes to MM clothing. And then from there, I came out to also enjoy the party. <laughs> to be honest, it was a success. Percy, we love you. We want to wish you all the best. Have fun in your marriage and then like enjoy. We, we love you. We love you. Love you so, so much. Congrats, girl. Congrats. Hi, I'm so excited. It's my brother's wedding. I pray for um, eternity with them and I pray they would be happy always. Thank you for everyone who came here. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. We are the sisters of the um, groom and we would like to say congratulations. 
and we are happy you guys made it this far we just pray for god's protection guidance throughout your marriage and more babies to come out i can't wait for the first one to be named right after me this was just a traditional ceremony and tomorrow i'm gonna bring you guys the white wedding that i'm not even interested in but oh. for me <laughs> i'm not doing a white wedding wait for me i'm doing like a typical traditional wedding with ghana culture and kenyan culture combined together hey this is going to be hard and it's just gonna be in my room Thank oh you. that won't be fair guys see you i hope you guys <laughs> like the video don't forget to subscribe and be part of the awesome family my name is watermaya your one and only annoying village boy and this is my sister who just got married and she's not part of the family bye